Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. Now in this one, I'll be teaching you how to DPS as a Shadow Assassin. Now, as a lot of you probably know, the most important thing on a Shadow Assassin is stacking poison in order to DPS, especially when you're fresh out of the Starland without any gear. So I will show you how I stack poison. My personal way is LMB, RMB, 3, Tab, and then 4. That will take you out of stealth at the end. Now uh, let me go over that really quick. LMB will proc your RMB Venom Pierce, so it's not hard step anymore. That's one stack, and then Venom Slash is two stacks, Tab is another two stacks, which will also put you in stealth. And when you're in stealth, you can use Lightning Rod, which will take you out of stealth and give you focus regen. So, it will look like this. And that's it. Five stacks, you're out of stealth, you're getting focus regen, and that's how I stack poison. Now, when you're starting, however, you want to do it differently. You don't want to use any of those, you just want to use Choke Bomb. So it would be 4, blue buff, and then 4 again. 4v4, and then you do your DPS, which is RMBF on an Assassin, or Shadow Sin. So this is what it would look like. And when your poison runs out, stack it, lightning rod, and you did just DPS. It's just rinse and repeat until your blue buff, uh, blue buff goes off cooldown, and what I like to do is save my 4 for it. But obviously you don't have to save your 4, you can use it whenever you want, you can use it when your poison's running out. But I like not using 4 just so I have a sense of rotation, and it's really brain dead to me. So, I'll also show you what your rotation will look like with a Dragon Bracelet and Holy Fire Badge. Now, it's really simple, you just use 4v4 and you hold your RMB. And it would look like that. Now, when your poison stacks end or when your bracelet buff ends, you just go back to the rotation I talked about. And you RMBF, RMBF, RMBF. Now, you just do that until your blue buff goes off cooldown. Oh, one thing you want to pay attention to is blue buff cooldown will usually end up shorter than the global cooldown. So you actually want to wait a bit. As you can see, my blue buff is off cooldown already, but the global cooldown is still up. So you want to wait for that, and then you can use 4v4 again, and just hold RMB. Just one small thing to keep in mind. And obviously, when you have Soul Burn, you want to either just use your blue buff every 30 seconds. So while the global cooldown is still up, that way you will sync up with Soul Burn again, or just... Delay it by another 15 seconds. You can also do that. And that's about it for Shadow Assassins. Now let's go over some of the other skills really quick. Your C, you can take Resist or a Stun. I usually go with the Stun because it's a gap closer. So if you're far away and you don't have Tab or 1, you can just use C and that will take you to the boss. That's just what I like to take. Now Z, you can also take Mind Toss, which is also one stack of poison and some extra damage. It's not a huge deal. That's why I usually take Landmine because I usually don't need Mind Toss for the damage or poison stack, so I just take Landmine for the double KD, and Landmine will also stack two stacks of poison, so if you have everything on cooldown for some reason, let's say if you screwed up, you can just use Z, that's two stacks, tab, and then four. That'll also stack you, give you five stacks. Uh, really convenient things. And that's about it. Oh, right, X. That's, uh, this is really important. I take Shuriken because I don't like using LMB since it procs my Venom Pierce. I don't want to use it before I want to. That will put it on cooldown and I won't have enough stacks for the next rotation. And that is why I take X for focus regen. Because you usually don't need small screen anyway. But if you do need it, make sure you take it. Don't screw your teammates. And that's about it. If you're dying, you can also take... Poison Breath, it's a lot of health regen. Uh, Choke Bomb is the fastest and easiest way to stack poison, that's why most people take this. It will also recover some health, but it's not nearly as much as Poison Breath. So, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you learned something, and have a nice day!